I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today I wanted to go over a really great free tool that will help you whether you're teaching remotely or in the classroom to randomly choose student, randomly group them, all kinds of good stuff. So let's dive in. The tool I want to share with you today is called Flippity.net. It has much more than what I'm going to show you today, but let's get started with just our random grouping, random name picker. The students love this, even in high school. I teach high school and they love it. So I went to flippity.net and as you can see, they have all kinds of free templates for you to use. But the one I'm going to choose is this one right here. You want to click on the template. They give you a free template and you want to make a copy. Here it has all the names that they've put in there. What I do at the very beginning of school, before school even starts, as soon as I get my roster, I list all my students' names right here. These are not my students. The next thing, once you get all your names in, I'm going to change this, say it's a sample so I can remember. You have to go to File, and then to publish to the web. You publish it, you give it permission. Then once you've published this, right here at the bottom, this is where you're gonna click and get your link. Click on your link and open it up. You have the random picking wheel. I project this on the board. If you were teaching remotely, I would be recording my screen and I would see, well here, Bet needs to answer the next question. Now the great thing is, that's not all it can do. So once you have all your students' names in, I, like I said, I put them from the very beginning. You want to save your spreadsheet so as kids for high school, they drop, they add. I can update my list really quickly. But look at this at the top. I can have the spinner, which is I'm what I'm on, or I can do this and just do a random name. And it'll just keep picking random names. If I want to make sure I hit everybody, I can just go down the list. Everybody's going to answer this question. Make sure I don't miss a single person. If I want groups of two, I simply click here and it randomly gives me groups of two. If I don't like that, I can just hit this and it'll change. Don't like that group? Change. I would project this screen in the classroom and I say, okay, go to your group group up, pair up. This is your group. It saves a lot of time because they just know this is where we're going. And see this one over here, a single? I would just tell that person, hey, I want you to group up with seven or I want you to group up with team one, whatever team I decide. Groups of three, we've got it all figured out instantly. Teams, if you want to, all your students are in there and you want to have two separate teams, one on one side of the room, one on the other side of the room, Click teams. You want three teams, four teams, five teams. You don't even have to figure out how many students are in the class and divide it all out. You don't even have to do that. They do have a seating chart. I don't usually use a seating chart, but I use these all the time. How would you use Flippity? Would you use this name picker? The, the students, it's so funny to watch them. They get so like intense, so excited, like, actually, I think they're worried, um, <laughs> to get their name picked. They're like, oh, is it going to pick me? Oh, picked me. This is flippity.net. Hope you enjoy. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day. Bye.